Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how to use more complex envelopes, uh, the multi-segmented envelopes, create your own custom attack shapes, release shapes, etc. I know sometimes pe people wonder, like, how to do this, like, where are the multi-segmented envelopes? It looks like it only has basic ADSR functions, but it actually doesn't. They're actually fairly complex, and I'll show you actually how you can do it. So let's get started. We have a global envelope here, and I could do it with this, but I want to make it a little bit more visually appealing so it's a little bit more apparent what's happening. So we're not going to use this for now. We're going to go into the generator, and I'm going to use a wavetable oscillator. This, that way we can see it more easily. If I move this here, we can see it going through the wavetable. That way we can see as well as hear what's happening. What we're going to do is just click on the wave because this is what we want to move. Go in here, we can move the depth all the way up, and uh, let's just choose an envelope. We'll choose envelope one. Click this to show it, and we have here the basic ADSR. I turn the attack up like this. I think it's easy to see what's happening. So I have the decay, I can make that longer like this, and then I can increase the release. Easy enough to understand. Now with this, of course, there's some, I guess, somewhat advanced features here. We can go here and bend this, uh, and do the same with the decay. We can hold it at the top if we want. We can delay it from starting. There's all sorts of things we can do with this. But you're probably wondering, like, hey, I, I want to do more. What we're going to do is use the custom shape. This is where we can get into it and really add some unique stuff. We look here we have the attack and we can change this attack to whatever we want first we want to adjust the time you can make this as long as you want but if you want to get like a really long evolving sound i suggest turning this up you can turn it up all the way to 10 seconds but we're going to use like five because this is a video and it's going to take a while if i do it the other way from here we can adjust the attack shape however we like from here we can add other nodes like this if we want and I think this maybe it's a new feature. I can go and highlight two nodes and it's like pull them like this. And now let's press something and let's hear what this sounds like. And you can actually you can see this and then watch on this visualizer to see what it's doing. And then it goes to the release shape. I could do the same thing in here, like, let's say, do something like this. And you can see the release is doing, you know, custom shape also. Have it a little bit fast, but you can make it shorter or longer if you wanted to. And by making it longer in the attack stage, we can do much more with this as, you know, to make it a little bit more interesting. But you're probably thinking like, what about the sustain? The sustain is just kind of standing there. So if I move this attack down so it doesn't take quite so long, and I hold a note. There, that's not doing anything. And you're probably thinking, yeah, okay, that's kind of terrible. I want it to move there. I don't want just movement in the attack and the release. I want the sustain section to have some movement too. And that's where we're going to use the tremolo here. And we have this preview here so we can actually see visually kind of what's happening there. Uh, you can shut that if it's taking up too much space, but I think it's all right. From here, we can go in and we can adjust the depth of this. And right now it's at six hertz, which is really fast. I'll let you see what happens here. Actually, let's take the attack shape and let's clear these points just so this is a little bit more smooth and we can really see what this tremolo is doing with the depth at 100. Okay, so that might be a little bit annoying. What we might want to do is turn the depth down and turn the rate down. I'll show you what happens when you do that. Yeah. 
So as you can see, you can turn that on and off and adjust that exactly how you like it. Uh, from there, we can do all sorts of things. So you might want to make it shorter. I think for this, for me, I think eh, maybe a, a slower rate is better. But if you don't want the sign shape, you can change it to triangle, square, saw. You're probably thinking, I don't want any of those shapes. I want to make whatever I want. Okay, let's go into the custom. Here, it looks like a triangle, but if we click here, we can go in and make whatever shape we want, really. Like this. Here, if we want to. Like that. Uh, we can do a bunch of other things. We can make it follow. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Make sure you click OK afterwards. You don't want to be like me and screw everything up. Like this. Uh, we can do other things. Like you can mess with all of these to make sure it starts at a random initial phase, etc. But now that we have that, th there's a lot we can do with this. Another thing we can do is I showed you how you could you know draw in whatever you want here or adjust this. But if you want to do more, right click it. And before I just cleared it, but you can actually use these other modes to add other things in here. And if you have some type of like audio and you want this attack phase to uh, mimic whatever your audio volume is, just click analyze audio. We can change the length of the audio sample. I'll use this in 100 milliseconds here. Click load file. I just have this AEIOU I made. And so this is just me saying A-E-I-O-U. Oh, let me turn, make sure this is the start here. This is the end here. And what's going to happen is the attack is going to be based upon the volume of what I said in here. So click close. And you see, this is what I said. For this, it's probably not going to be so interesting. But uh, for other things, I think it, it can be. It, you don't have to use this necessarily on the wavetable. You could use this on volume and I think it'd be more interesting, but I'll just show you here. This is the basics of how it works. And you see there, there you have it. By doing it this way, there's all sorts of things you can come up with. You could do the same thing with the release if you wanted to, etc. And you're thinking like, oh, I want even more. This isn't enough, you know, randomness or you know, whatever. Move this. Have the tremolo going here. Make sure this is working. So that's moving, but you're thinking like, I want more movement. Just go in here and multiply this by something else, like another envelope or even an LFO. So I have like a slow moving LFO. Just make sure it's going at a different rate. So now we're getting all sorts of modulation. It's hard to tell what it is. You're not going to get lots of repeating sounds. Well, you probably will get a repeating sound after a while, but it's going to take a while for that to cycle through. If you want even more like randomness or unpredictability, just use the random modulator. <laughs> after you're getting you know that complicated, it's better to just go in here and use the random modulator. But I think that's a lot to do uh, for this. You can do lots of things with just this envelope one to make your own custom and interesting shapes. And check out some of the other parameters too, because you can do even more than what I showed you here. But hopefully this gave you some ideas on what you can do with this. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave any comments or questions down below. And check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.